Teacher Al. Welcome to my channel. Today our topic is about greatest common factor or GCF. So, magpapahint ng uh, greatest common factor, meron tayong dalawang methods. Ang una ay listing factor. Ang pangalawa ay common and continuous division. Meron tayong problem dito. Find the greatest common factor. 10, By listing methods, Listing rather listing of factor, we have uh, copyin muna natin yung 10 at saka 35. Kukunin natin ang factor ng 10. Ang factor ng 10 ay 1 times 10. So 10, a factor yan. Tapos, sa 2, 10 divided by 2, so pwede, 5. So, yan yung factor ng 10. Ngayon, dito naman sa 35, start tayo sa 1, times 35 is 35. Then, 35 divided by 2, hindi pwede, divided by 3, hindi pwede, kasi may sobra, 4, hindi pwede. So, pwede siya sa 5. 35 divided by 7, 5. Then, 35 divided by 5 is 7. Okay. Ayan. Ayan yun ang factor natin. Ngayon, ano yung greatest common factor? Meron tayong dalawa. 1, 1, and 5. Since greatest common, itong 5 ang kukunin natin. Kaya ang greatest common factor is 5. The next is method number 2, common and uh, continuous division. Okay, then isulatin natin yung given 10 and 35. Kaya tinawag na common, common lang ang natin ilalagay dito. Since greatest common, ang pinakataas ng common na makadivide sa 10 and 35. So the highest is 5. Then divide natin 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then 35 divided by 5 is 7. 2 and 7, wala nang common, kaya ang sagot natin, ito na yung greatest common factor. Kung makikita natin, method 1 and method 2, parehas ang sagot. So, ang greatest common factor ng 10 and 35 is 5. Okay, next number 2, find the greatest common factor of 52, 60, and 12. Okay, ganun din ang process sa method 1. Listing factor. Sulat man na natin. 52. Sa sunod ay 60. Next is 12. 1 times 52. Factor yan. Next. Meron ba sa 2? Halimbawa, 52 divided by 2 yung pwede. 26. So, 26. Then, halimbawa sa 3, 52 divided by 3, so wala, so sobra siya. So, 4, meron siya sa 4, 13, 13 times 4, 52, 26 times 2, 52, 52 times 1, 52, ganun ang pag-check niya. Okay, next is sa 60, 1 times 60, 60, correct. How about sa 2? Meron? 62 divided by 2? 30. Tama. A factor din siya. How about sa 3? 60 divided by 3? 20. So, factor din. How about sa 4? Uh, 60 divided by 4? Meron. Uh, 15. Then, 5. Meron din. 5 and 12. Yan yung mga factor. Okay, next, sa 12. Anong factor ng 12? Okay, 1 and 12 muna. 12 times 1, 12 is correct. Okay, next, how about 2? 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Okay, factor din siya. 2 times 6, 12. How about 3? Meron? 12 times 12 divided by 3? Okay, 4. Oh, yan yung mga factor. Ngayon, ano yung common? Ang common natin ay 1, 1, 
2 and 2. 3 wala, so 4 meron. 5 wala, 6 wala. Okay. Ang greatest common factor natin ngayon ay 4. Siya ang pinakataas sa common. Next sa method 2. A continuous division. So, natuloy natin given 52, 60, 12. Ano yung pinaka-common na makadivide sa kanilang uh, tatlo? Ang pinaka-common ay 4. Then, 52 divided by 4 is 13. 60 divided by 4 is 15. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 13, 15, 3, wala na makapag-divide sa kanila. Walang common. Kaya ang sagot natin ay ang greatest common factor is 4. Ang ganyan po ang pag-solve na pag-find ng greatest common factor. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.